Hello eSparkers, today we are going to compare and contrast different accounts of the same event. Let's start with some definitions according to Merriam-Webster. If you were telling a story to a friend about a car accident you saw on the way to school, you would be giving a first-hand account. Sometimes this is called an eyewitness account. If you were telling your friend about the same car accident, but your information came from a newspaper article that you read, then you are relaying the story second-hand. But how can you tell for sure? Here are some clues you can look for when you are trying to decide if what you are reading or watching is a first or second-hand account. Really focus on the pronouns. Is the author talking about himself or other people? Consider the source. Is what you are watching based on the author's personal experience or research that she conducted? Something to look and listen for are facts versus observations. If you hear a lot of information about times, dates, places, with no mention of how people are thinking or feeling, it's a pretty good clue that you are watching a second-hand account. Finally, try to decide where you might read or watch this story. Would it be on someone's blog or in their diary? That's a first-hand account. If you think you would see the story on the news or perhaps in a textbook, then you are most likely getting your information from a second-hand account. You might want to pause this video so you can jot down this table in your reading journal so you can use it through the rest of this video. Let's give it a try. We are going to watch clips from this video I found about Hurricane Katrina on YouTube. Think about the clues we talked about or look at your notes in your reading journal as we watch this clip. On August 25, 2005, Hurricane Katrina passed over southern Florida and hit the Gulf of Mexico. Two days later, the hurricane was heading toward New Orleans and the coast. Do you think this clip was a first-hand account or a second-hand account? You got it, second-hand. This is a news report. We saw maps and heard facts about where the storm was landing. This is definitely a second-hand account. Here's another clip. See if you can tell the difference. I brought my birthday money and my money for my summer job, a few pair of clothes. That were important papers and a couple of change of outfits and pack some snacks for the, for the kids. Six cars total. 23 of us, ranged in ages from three months to 70. We took the van so we could all be together. Did you notice how in this clip we didn't see maps or hear facts? We heard people who were telling us about what they took with them and how they planned to get away from the storm. This is a first-hand account. Let's look at one more clip. Watch carefully and jot down in your reading journal what you notice. The same day Katrina hit, the levees that held back Lake Pontchartrain breached and 80% of New Orleans was underwater. Well, when Katrina first struck, you know, I just, I thought it wouldn't be as long as a couple of days, but when it turned out to be a little bit longer, I thought this is gonna push a lot of plans back in my senior year. And we had only been in school for, I think a week and a half. And so, we just knew that, okay, this is not days so we're gonna have to make up. This is, we might not even get to go to school again. The first part of this clip is a second-hand account. We got a report about the levee breaking and how much of the city was flooded. In the second part, we hear a girl telling how she realized that her plans for her senior year of high school were going to change a lot. That's a first-hand account. A first-hand account of a story adds context and emotion to a story. A second-hand account tells the facts and higher-level details. Okay, let's try with one more example, this time with a written account. Your job is to read a short excerpt of an article I found on History.com. Remember, you are looking for the pronouns that are used and if there are personal interest stories or facts. Pause this video to take the time that you need to read the excerpt. Here are some of the facts I jotted down. Do your notes match mine? I also noted that there were specific references to places, and while we don't see a map, we certainly could find these places if we looked at one. All of these clues tell me this is a second-hand account. Do you agree? 
Now you have some practice picking out details that help you analyze the differences between first and second hand accounts of the same event.